Big war horse, get the grain. Only six influence. Yo, king, it might be smart. Yeah, the correct version of mods is is, is that. Like, uh, I did try to make the POC uh, color randomizer, you know, the uh, paw color mod work, which is gonna give, like, uh, it could give you the shields that are differently patterned for, the, uh, for this mod. You know, with the Legio things and the like the civil war for example or the total war you know colors and all that yeah, but for some reason that kept crashing the mod too i i mean i probably don't know how to get it to work i probably need to like look up a tutorial on, on, on youtube to make it work correctly okay now let's see what happens okay. Okay, let me see this. He donated 200 troops to the garrison. Okay. I'm not so sure that's a smart idea, man. Hey, can I call him in? Come on. One day, one day, five days and twenty-three. Where the hell are? Where the fuck are you, man? But again, look, we're all the way across the empire. Could he make an army so I can join him at least? Nope. to a point. God, I, I love it when it says that. That's that's already besieged. It'll be besieged by the smaller army, so like maybe I can defend it. Oh, look at that. The C Caesar is support. Well, Olivia's. Well, Caesar is supporting me, the Imperator. I guess something. Of course, you don't want any of these. Oh. So we're gonna break the siege. So. Uh, use war, uh, Nexus mo Nexus mods Vortex to download the mods, right, and install them. Then use the a Bangalore launcher mod from Nexus mods to actually launch the game, right? Is that what you mean? These motherfuckers are just turned around. I guess I have to defend this by myself. And the music is kicking in right on right on cue. What's the actual difference between the mod panel lord launcher and the you know the usual one? Just new troops wage Troops wage and property costs are decreased by 25%. Town projects are in 10% more effective. Horse labor. <laughs> Prisoners' construction speed is increased by 10%. I think the, uh, the construction speed definitely. Okay, this is my brother. Missionary troops, wages and upgrade costs are decreased by 25%. Okay. Same thing.
think I'm gonna lose a bit more troops on this one. Is to use a switch the load over there. Probably gonna check it out like once I finish this playthrough. Well, finish, you know. There's no such thing as finishing a playthrough in war. But well, I need to hear me say that because I finished like what four or five playthroughs on Warband on the channel. That's over, like each one over a hundred hours. Okay, you hold fire. Oh god, I didn't grab my spear. Okay, that's gonna be an issue. Mind handing me over, handing me a spear over? Yeah, that's gonna be too close. I think the archers can shoot on them even if they don't see him. Let me actually check something. Okay, why I did I don't think I moved you up that close to that edge. They do have a lot of cab, which kind of worries me. I think I did try installing the RTS camera on, but the minimap has a conflict with it, I think. Well, the minimap mod, that is. Yes, slowly, but... I think I did try installing the RTS camera on, but... Oops. Nudging themselves forward a little by little. I mean, the uh, skirmishing is the first phase of the battle, right? But the, the, you know, the the thing is with the RTS camera, like if I install it, I'm gonna be playing with it. On, you know, I'm gonna be playing Total War Rome, basically, literally. You know that point kind of I'm kind of hesitant and like making it work and using it let's see if I can provoke him to charge in that was his Stupid fucking idea. Okay, it's time to move in. Cab is charging in though. How about you don't kill my horse? Once. Hear me! 
Yeah, Pale of Mountain Archers don't, definitely don't do as much damage as they used to to shields. Yeah, Sammy, I know, but, um, you know, I would, I like to spend more time in the, like, seeing this happen here, where the line broke, I would just, you know, switch between them too, too often. I would spend more time playing in, to in RTS mode than in, you know, third person mode. I don't really want to end up ha happening. Well, I could... Since I do run around and kill a lot of enemies. Like, maybe later on. Once I get, like, up to, like, 300 troops in a party. I'll, um, uh... Witch around and, like, start commanding troops. Uh, that's just my play style, actually. That's that's the problem. I like to be in the battle. And like what the most people I've seen play Battlelord or one play games, that, like in particular, they do like to stand back and command a little bit more. I like to be in the thick of it. I don't know what. Those are prisoners, man. We don't want slingers. So that's why I kind of want to avoid it for now. Wait a minute. Sammy, does, does the RTS camera work when you die? Can you actually give orders when you die? Or does it like, you know, or does the AI do stupid shit like it always does once you die? So you can actually like use it like in warband. You can you know, position your troops where they should be, not in front of, front of the enemy or doing stupid shit. Okay, we saved that, and now I have to go and replenish. Punch some troops real quick. Oh, that's nice. If you switch to a companion, that's perfect. Because once you go down, you're... It's just painful to watch what the AI does and how many troops you lose to stupidity. Or uh, better said, the indecisiveness of the AI, I guess. We'll see. Right, switch this immediately so I don't forget. Need the oil. Sell the cow too. Grab some meat. And this is another question. Does did you actually notice the culture of a settlement changing after I don't know how how much how many how how long in the in the game, or does it like stay the same throughout the game throughout your playthrough? Because that would suck ass. If it just stayed the same forever. Okay, tactics. I 
What's even worse, like uh, it, the AI in Warband wasn't good, but you know at least it once it either charges in or circles around like an idiot. So you do have to use a mod for for the culture to change. <laughs> now I got to remember. Well, I'm not gonna remember it. I need to write it down. Ultra change mod. Yeah, that's that's uh, a big deal. But in this artist that you have, let me check this first. Hold your army will 10% fire faster while moving to the army. 5%, 15% less influence required per party to call to your army. Reduce fortification bonus and simulations by 20. In... I think this one is better. Like at first, I took. Charas, Yusank, Saragoth, and Jolson. Jolson. But the problem with those was the loyalty was down the drain. And if the culture doesn't change, like at all in the game, then that's a real freaking problem. Let's go. If I could click. Go over here, grab some more stuff, some more units. Oh, nice. Some elites, too. For camp, uh, companions going solo, use a mod to order them what to do, attack, defend. There's a mod for that. That's nice because I just made you know, I made a gave a companion a, a small army and he just well, it's not his fault, he ran into a blood um, you know, a, a massacre, but still. Let's go, let's go deal with whoever the fuck's. Oh, you bitch. Leave those poor people alone. Why are you so... Why are, why are they so happy when they see you? Yeah, or holding command. Right, I did see that. Just never tracked it. I almost got him to defect. Oh no, after you get him to defect, you need to actually, you know, bribe him to join you, which takes too much. That's that, fit, that expression change, man. Uh, let's send the troops in. Look at that, only one loss on my side. Okay, let's grab all this for now. I do want to have over a hundred... 100k in the bank. Let's see how the war is going. Or do we have any support for anyone else? Oh yeah, the, the game gets an update like every week now. Without, uh, that's not mentioning all the mini updates, patches, and uh, hot fixes. So that's what, like, 
even if you're play, gonna play on like a or play the you know normal game with no mods, your C is probably gonna get corrupted in like two or three weeks. So that's the well, that's like it's, that's the biggest issue right now. I think the, the game has it just keeps getting updated all the time, and you can never really finish a campaign even on when you're playing on normal unless you lock it to a certain version of the game. Which is a real pain in the ass for anyone. Plays the game. Shoot one more, why the hell not? Ooh. They got some balls. Well, they probably have a thousand man army over there. Rebel what? Oh look at that. That got taken over. That defected from the southern empire and got taken over by the... Asari? Yeah, Ezrai. Not Asari. The same mass effect. Let's go over there. Now see, they have a bunch of influence. Let's see, we can grab... Oh, let's grab all of them, why the fuck not? And just go to town with the enemy. See what we got. Uh. No, yeah. Well, I mean, you can always like just stick to. Like I'm gonna stick to this version of the mod. It has the Pallic Empire and the and the Dryatics. And the Sturgeons are more or less Germanics already. Oh god. Literally as I make an army I gotta disband it and turn back around because they're gonna besiege my shit most likely. Alright, did you check this mod out, Sammy? This is pretty good. The improved garrison mod. The recruits... Basically, you get the uh, garrison recruiters going out of your ca castles and cities to recruit troops for you. Real nice quality of life add into the game. God. Yeah, I, I... Shit. Oh, God damn it, game. God fucking damn it. And all our parties are over here, too. Problem is uh, I'm not sure if it's compatible with the save game, but it might be. You could actually like tack it on right now on your car current playthrough, which would be nice because it doesn't really change all that much. Well, I mean it does, but it might work. I okay, got. I'm not gonna get over there in time. Watch a thousand man army appear in front of Baragal's castle or Saneopa. 
wouldn't be a fucking surprise at all at this point. Okay, let's see. Is anyone near here? Kind of. Let me grab all the help I can get. Of course, focusing down these three would be the best idea at this point. So I don't have to worry enemy of, about enemies coming from there. If they worked a bit more with the mod developers, it would be great, because uh, I did implement the Siege Fix mod into this, and I'm sure, I'm not sure if you checked it out already, but uh, Access Mods... Let me just find it real quick. It, it literally, the, a modder fixed the... Well, the Siege tower of problems where the AI just gets stuck on, at, at the bottom of the ladders, which is which is unbelievable that the modder fixed it and they couldn't for like one a year and a half or however long the game is out at this point have 200 garrison in there 300 garrison there are they okay so it looks like because the fix for the sea, uh, siege towers came out like a week or two ago something like that three weeks maybe so they probably saw it and implemented it in game but actually you know they actually go up the ladders or up the siege tower. Okay, let's see. Just they're gonna besiege something, and an army is come gonna come from somewhere. I just don't know where yet. Fine. Thirteen days in one hour. Just like in real right real life, right? Let's kill off these big, huge looter hordes because, you know, or we actually make money with our, with our villages. I guess there, it looks like they're besieging. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. You, you see what it is. Let's see if we can actually besiege this and, you know, actually take it. We're probably gonna track the big fuck off army that's over there, most likely. That is, if we actually have enough to take this, we do, but... Well, not if he gets in there. Come on. Flip out. Oh, don't come my way. He's chasing me? What? Alright, I can do a little roundabout and go besiege this. Oh, 
Oh, if you can, uh, if you can get the walls broken down each and every siege, then congrats, man. I usually get a big fuck off army coming my way in, in like three seconds, starting a siege. Yes, you're gonna see probably now. Four days in one hour. I mean, that's usually what happens with my sieges. You see a big fuck off army coming my way. There is a, like, a, I have a playthrough already of this mod up, an older version. I don't know which city it was that I was besieging, but I had like six battles in front of it. Yeah, till I actually took it. Yeah, not the fun ones, the boring ones with a lot of uh, lots of uh, horse archers. Okay, that's one army. Can't see if that thing over there is still besieged. Okay, there we go. And they have catapults on the walls. And they have a shitload of garrison units. Militia, that is. Question is... Can I take it? Then hold it. I guess we'll find out soon enough. thousand troops well uh, I mean I did have armies of over 1,000 troops attacking enemies uh, castle oh, well enemy land but I just have some bad luck with the AI just you know showing up with all their fucking forces on my on my on me that is. Because for some reason they don't focus down any of my... Com well, I guess the problem is the allied armies are nowhere to be seen at that point. I mean, I could call in more allies, but they're all in another army at this point. Let's lead the assault. I'm gonna ch save scum this if it goes horribly wrong, of course. We have the time to build and rebuild and all that. Later, it will take too long at that point. Of course, the music makes this all the more better. I'm gonna assume they're gonna destroy at least at least one siege tower, if not a battering ram as well. Motherfucker, that was close. Oh god. Divide and conquer. Usually the smart thing to do, right? Just I'm just too impatient to wait for the AI to actually do something smart. I 
And the problem, I just have some bad luck in the game. Like, uh, we're in four, at war with two factions that declare war on us. And I'm not gonna be surprised if another one declares war on me soon. Okay, if the siege towers actually survive, I'm gonna be freaking surprised, man. And another problem is I don't really have the GPU to run this game at the thing, you know, or, well, I have 3700x, it could probably handle the 1000 man armies, but the GPU cannot. So I can't really have the, you know, full on battles. I have to either make this easier or, let's see, okay, okay. Why the hell I lower the troops on this side, Cav, Calrymen? Oh god, I'm gonna lose my whole Cav force on this one. Cheap shots, cheap kills. And then I do want to get the defensive battle in the game, too. Or, you know, in the stream. Oh yeah, friendly fire is a real freaking issue. I had a battle like... Uh, if you watch the YouTube pro videos, you're probably gonna see it at some point. I had to see uh, a battle where... Uh, like 70% of the casualties on my side were from catapults. Because, you know, there wasn't a lot of enemies in the, in the castle left. So like all the... Casualties for from the catapults trying to kill one enemy that was on like a corner of the wall where my guys didn't kill him for some reason or didn't go for him. Oh, Wait a minute. Oh. But catapults and onjers definitely the those are the real issue now. And even the bigger problem is you can't really tell them to like stop firing. Which is, you know, even worse. Would be good if there's, you know, somewhere an option to tell the artillery pieces to stop. Okay, this didn't go too bad. Only a hundred, there's still losses, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the AI deal with them, because I don't know where they are. I wish... There's probably gonna be a mod where they make it so that your artillery can deal friendly fire damage. I hope, I hope that someone makes the mod. Because like this now, you, you, you just lose it too much. Okay, what are my prisoners? Looters? Fuck them. Yeah, one enemy gets glitched inside the wall and you half your army gets wrecked by, own, by your own troops. Always an, always so nice to see. <laughs> First gates, request entry. 
dungeon. Only four influence from all that. Okay, now. Got to wait in here. See if we can actually survive. Okay, we got uh, 300 troops. Yeah, we should be fine. Or no, he's just gonna go over there and besiege my castle. Most likely. No? What? Uh, I don't really want to hold it. It's not. It's kind of close, but uh, then again, not. This is isn't even clo close. Not well. It's not close at all. I was thinking of grabbing this whole area for myself, but the, you know, AI kind of screwed me over in, in that. I could probably fight that army, just, uh, we just need a... Sometimes rest. I don't need to like go through the decision voting thing. Management. Uh, let me just yeah, like you can basically set up a template to what you what you want them to do. Like vanilla recruitment, you need to turn that off. Recruit from region, recruit prisoners. You can leave that on if you want to, them to recruit. You know the Roman troops. Recruiting follows template. Recruit your recruitment amount. You can like get him to like recruit a hundred troops then come back, but it's better if you just let him recruit like fifty or less then come back. You can also get garrison guards. You basically, get a, a guard party out from your garrison to like run around and you know help out the you know villages and whatnot. Copy to all castles, copy to all towns. Funny to me where, where you can like, you know where the enemy is gonna go. Yo, oh, look at them. Finally some backup over here. Like, I want to kill this guy, but I'm not sure if we can catch up. We can. Nice. Yeah, the Garrison mod is pretty cool. And I it doesn't, like, crash your game if you, like, get the new version of it, I think. So it's pretty good in that front, too. You do want to, like, uh, make sure... Like, uh, the guard party actually recruits from your garrison troops. Garrison troops. So you want to make sure to, that you have... Oh, like... Return threshold. Auto creation threshold. I'm not quite sure how it works. There is a tutorial that happens, though. Because you don't want to, like, make... Uh, uh, let it take out too many troops out of your gas and down or uh, gas and troops in your castle because of course we're gonna have no one in the castle at that point I see the like, garrison recruiter he has five infantry troops actually a cohort trio and 
he's gonna dump him, dump him in, dump him in, and level them up. Okay, they're gonna go save that. Let's go for this castle. Right, maybe I should stop by and recruit some troops along the way. It is really nice, especially if you want to like uh, have reserve reserve troops, which you don't have to level up or nothing. You can like basically make it so they they level up to the max. Although you're never probably gonna, they're never probably gonna get there. But like tier three is good enough. And plus, you can uh, make uh, the garrison crew to pick up these elite units, which. You know, cat wine always. Which is pretty good too. Okay, recruit. Grab those. And this is what I mean. We're at war. Or with one, two, three. We just need a fourth faction to declare war on us, and we're gonna do just fine. And since. And these are all defensive wars, so the only way we're gonna get out of any of these wars is by. paying tribute. I'm not gonna propose peace for any of these just yet. Oh shit. I need for I need these guys to leave the, the castle. There's three parties in there. Abstain. See. Garrison Rangers are 5% less. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's get this guy because he has a shield. It looks like those guys left. Let's take the castle. Yeah, I'm not gonna recruit those guys, but let's increase our cohesion a little bit. Okay, and they only have ballistas, which is pretty good. We can just uh, run in and kill them. No need to worry about any of these getting wrecked. Any more? Okay, that... Uh, shit. Come on, make at least one more siege tower. Okay, now, never mind, they're running off to somewhere else. Okay, they're coming back. I don't think I don't think we're getting the second siege tower. Let's attack. Got to love the room of war music. So good. Okay, the siege tower is on the right, I think, so let's try and get the infantry to use the ladders instantly. Motherfucker.
Hey man, why do you keep moving at the last second? There we go, a headshot. Okay. I'm uh like okay, I'm fine with this if you just want to keep going down. Any more of you? Well, Total War 2 realm is pretty good now at this point with all the fixes in the game. Plus there's a bunch of mods with mods which make the game uh Real, you know, more interesting. Especially the ones that have changed the... Like, um... The perks or traits you give to a legion once it levels up. Only thing is the... Altics is a bit more... Hands-on at this point. You have to, you know... Watch out for the politics because you can just have a civil war if you don't pay attention to it. What else is there? All right, uh, the spies are OP, and all the, all the agents are OP, but spies especially because you can decimate an army with poison easy easily once you level up a spy. Uh, you know, that's OP for you and the AI as well, so... But when it comes to the gameplay, like troops and building and all that, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, I still enjoy it to this day. I do like Catilla a bit more, just a tiny bit more. Ooh, I remember this one. This one's pretty decent looking. It's a bit confusing though. Like, where's the castle? Is this the castle? And if you got to all the DLC, the Caesar Gaul DLC, I think it is. That one's pretty good. Because it's basically you against everyone else, if you want it to be like that. And the Greek one isn't half bad either. I mean, all of them are good, but, you know, those two in particular, they, because they focus the campaign down into a smaller area. That's why I like them. getting shot by what oh oh indeed I'm gonna give it to the troops. Go to the dungeon, don't need the prisoners. Okay, now, let's see what happens. Okay, let me check real quick how many archers we have. 22, okay, that's good enough. 
Let's go for more horsemen of the apocalypse. Carthage is gonna be. Did they actually have anywhere? Like, did they s say anywhere where what's the next update gonna be? Because I don't think they. So, I don't think Carthage is next. I think they're gonna flesh out the like um, the Sturgeons first. And Scythians, I guess. Then the Carthage is going to be the last because they're going to be a bit more creative with that. They want to make a mix of it. Increase your damage by 4% with all melee weapons, troops, in your formation deal 2% more melee damage. But no shield and ranged weapons are real at you. Gain 5% movement speed. Increase infantry troops in your formation. Gain 5%. Uh, they don't need movement speed. Okay, all of them are running away. I don't want it, man. God damn it. You do want to maybe check out the other uh, other realm mod. Oh fucking god. 1200 troops besieging that. Wait a minute, wasn't there an army near here? Not that one, another one. Yeah, that's what I mean, but uh, I think they're gonna, like, leave that for the last one. Because they're gonna, like, take more freedom with it. And there is another Roman mod. I don't know how, what it's called, but you can fi find it on the Jackie Fishes or Resonance channel. It only has a mod DB page, it's not uh, downloadable yet. But they're basically using most of the assets from this. You know, the mod creators are collaborating. And they are making uh, the cities and castles and villages look Roman. Like have a Roman aesthetic. I think it's gonna be bigger than this one. Because it's a bigger theme. The only problem is it's not out yet. I mean, maybe if you join it there Discord, maybe you can get the beta version or something. To play and test or something like that. Could work. Oh shit! I mean, I could break in in there. They're besieged. <laughs> They're going to besiege that. I do wonder if I break in there with the four hundred. How many are we gonna lose, and are, can we actually defend against those? Probably not. 